and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today we're going to be going over the 8 p.m. Blitz offer packs. Now, as you guys already know, there was the 8 a.m. There was the 12 p.m.s. There is there was the 4 p.m.s. The 4 p.m.s weren't that great, so I skipped over that one. It was just one singular drop. The 8 p.m.s do introduce the new players, and they introduce some packs, and it's right for the NFL 100. So I want to get this video out for you guys as quickly as possible. So obviously this goes on for quite a few days. Now this is just the first full day of Blitz offers, so things maybe get better. Hopefully there's the LTD drop tonight. I think the LTDs will consistently get better as we go. Now, I'm kind of hoping for a Pat Mahomes LTD drop, although he's probably going to be really expensive. I feel like they should be dropping Pat Mahomes in this promo. If they do not drop Pat Mahomes in this promo, you sure as hell can expect him as like a Christmas master or like a Christmas ghost of future or ghost of present, I should say, because he's already freaking great. So that's pretty awesome if we do see a Pat Mahomes LTD. But if we do not, we'll probably see him in the Christmas promo because the trend is Marquise Brown and Dante Jackson. I don't really see like any high profile Mahomes type guys dropping right after that, but maybe they're building their way up. So the rewards are today are pretty good guys. Now I was debating on taking some of these, but I don't really have too many bolts. I really got to work on that. I got to get those up, try to play some house rules and get my bolts up a little bit. As you guys know, I don't really spend money on this game. Um, obviously guys do not think that I'll never spend money. I just want to let that, I want to get that across now. If you guys think that I'll never spend money, that's not true. Come next year when the channel's a lot bigger and we're at a certain pace where I feel comfortable spending enough money on this game. That's probably what I'm probably end up doing. So if you guys are here by next year still, expect it then. Now, guys, before we get into this video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, come join the family. We're at about a little over 3.2K. Let's see if we can keep growing. At this rate we're growing right now, we're going to be growing pretty great for the rest of the year. By Christmas, the goal is like 17K. So let's see if we can get to that point. If you're watching this and you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for all the Blitz offers, all your Madden Daily content. Comment down below. Again, for all you guys, I'm going to ask a question 100 times today. Let me know your rating of the Blitz promo 1 through 10 and give me a reason why. I'm kind of built a collection of all your opinions and reviews for when I do like a review of the Blitz promo at the end of this month, which is probably in a few days. And make sure to smash that like button, guys. You guys have been killing the like button today. Can we get over 150 likes on this video? If you're watching it right now, spam the like button. Now, let's get into this. So let's go over to the store and let's go check what we got. So first things first. The bundles did drop earlier at about 12, and the next one will drop at midnight. So they seem to drop in at 12 hour intervals of full day bundle, except they only last for a pro. They don't really last too long, so I don't really know why the 12 hour intervals, but that's how they're doing this. So don't expect any packs till midnight. The 4 p.m. one, just to recap for you guys, was going to be the Blitz Bolts packs, which is going to be the Blitz Elite Player pack. So. If you guys are excited about that just dropping that in there for all you guys who didn't actually see that because i know i'm not making a video on it. i don't think xerx is making a video on it either we're kind of talking about there's not much really to make on this specific one and if you guys are still looking for mass tickets i think as of tonight at 8 p.m chris johnson will be obtainable because at 8 a.m 125 master tickets was obtainable for lamar jackson and since then there's been like let's see by the time it's 8 there'll be 7 6 that's 13 17 plus the players at eight which is another 17 so yeah so chris johnson's obtainable by eight i'm pretty sure so just so you guys know if you're looking for chris johnson you can finally get him about eight o'clock i will check the auction just to make sure that it's true but remember if you're looking for cj2k you can finally pick him up although lamar jackson's been out apparently he's pretty beast so he cannot get roaming dead eye or dashing dead eye which kind of sucks that's kind of what like i was hoping for with that card so i guess now we're waiting for a pat mahomes card but let's get into the one that's gonna be dropped we got the two players we got john abram as the first guy that'll be dropping 87 overall John Abram. As you guys know, these guys drop in duos like 87, 90, 87, 90. This is going to be 88, 91. They slowly work their way up. But for now, we got Jonathan Abram and Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is a 90 overall for the Arizona Cardinals, obviously. He has a 90 speed. I will be showing you guys the stats in just a moment. But am I excited for either one? John Abram has crazy good speed, crazy good hit power, which is weird because apparently he's out for a year. So it's kind of weird that they gave him this card. Now, Kyler Murray well deserved this card. I just kind of wish... Because a lot of you guys own his rookie premiere, such as myself. I kind of wish they had given him more ability slots for his rookie premiere. So, because I don't really want to go buy him considering I have him already. But the card looks pretty great, not going to lie. Let's go check out their stats real quick before we get into the rest of the stuff. All right, so for John Abram, as you guys can see right here, you've probably seen this photo before. He is 87 overall strong safety. Card art's pretty cool. He's 6 feet tall, which is great height. It's 90 speed and 88 excel strong safety. That's awesome. 79 tackles, a little bit low. 85 play rex, great. 87 pursuits great and then 95 hit power now the issue with this card is his man and zone his man and zone are 72 75 so this card to me reeks of an insane user linebacker i highly recommend if you do pick up this card put him in the box at safety and let him run like a, a box a, a box safety that's pretty much a linebacker 
and he's gonna be pretty crazy 90 speed 88 excel 95 hit power in the box gonna be a great user linebacker if you do toss him in there but other than that i don't think you really put him over pat tillman because mo oh, most strong safeties in general that you'd, you'd you know you'd argue for him against they have coverage they're probably close enough in speed better play rec better tackle better pursuit similar height the hit power is great if you can get him in the box you can probably force a lot of fumbles on wide receivers a lot of fumbles on running backs a lot of fumbles on tight ends i'm telling you if you get this guy in the box gonna be a gg Kyler Murray is a pretty pretty great in real life so far. He obviously doesn't have the best situation, but he's he's playing a lot better than the record shows or even the stats show. I mean, and even some games, obviously, vice versa. He plays a lot worse than his stats show. But as far as fantasy goes, where I have him as a quarterback, I'm pretty I'm loving him. He gets enough stats every game to at least put up a reputable uh, performance. And this is his first year under a new system, new coach, new players. David Johnson's kind of faltered out the gate. So I think Kyler Murray is a lot more potential that's even been shown this year. But as far as the stats go, pretty great. 90 speed. 89 throw power. That's great for Kyler Murray card. I think his throw power should have been a little bit higher. But obviously, chemmed up a go deep. His throw power will be above a 90. His speed's above a 90. His throw short will be a high 80. His throw mid is a, de uh, it's a little mid. And his throw deep will go deep and everything will come close like an 88, 89. And then his throw under pressure a little low 80. His throw on the run's amazing 91. His play action 78. I don't really recommend this card. He's going to be fun to play with. But it's like taking Lamar Jackson that... Throw, like, it's like taking Lamar Jackson, this new Lamar Jackson, that throws worse. No throw under pressure. It's similar to Lamar. Not gonna lie, it's similar to the other Lamar I had. But now that we have the options to get better cards, I feel like I'd rather go with them. And Kyler Murray can't be powered up. So that definitely hurts him. Especially, I don't know if the, I don't know if the Blitz cards get their third ability slot. They probably do. I haven't checked though yet, but I'd probably wait. I'd probably rather have Randall Cunningham with the new Lamar for now. Although Kyler Murray's definitely fun on an Arizona Cardinals team team. It's probably really great too. Now, let's head back over to the screen show you guys the packs, too. These guys go for 3100 1200 Are they worth it? Probably. Not horrible. And you get your master tickets back if you're looking, for, if you're looking to get CJ2K, and then you can just sell them if you want. Now, the Blitz Bolts pack, it does leave us with the Blitz 87-88 overall pack, which is the final remaining offer. So, you get seven master tickets. It unlocks at 1129 at 8 p.m., which is now. And then remaining two, I haven't backed out. It's like a few minutes before it drops. I'm getting this done for you guys nice and early, so I have some time for my NFL 100 video. Now, it costs 1.5 as the price of the bolts which is not horrible for an 87 to 88 now are there better offers at that price i think the legend fantasy packs a better offer in my opinion because there's a little more potential i like upside right i don't like opening packs they're going to guarantee me my value back i feel like legend fantasy packs are a little more fun a little more upside now it's not horrible let's go over to the auction real quick to show you guys potentially what you could get actually from the 87 to 88 see what kind of coins you're really talking i don't think it's that great i think the market's gonna come down quite a bit so not gonna be anything too awesome in comparison to what you could probably get out of a legend fantasy pack so the 87s are looking like they start at let's see i know they're right around here they're not much higher than this 87s starting at where are they 34k so you're looking anywhere between 34 to like 45k for an 87 and then the 88s you're looking at like 47k wow training is super cheap right now i mean let me do this conversion real quick i remember the numbers correctly Hold up, they go for 47,000 divided by 2460, which is their training value. They're 19 coins for training. That is super cheap right now. It is unreal how much the training market has crashed. So yeah, you're looking at like a best, at best case, you maybe get like a base elite, like a maybe a, I don't know, a Wagner or a Brady or something that goes for a little bit more, a little bit more. And you end up getting like a decent, a decent 88 pull, which is like 50K. There's really no potential for upside with that pack. I don't recommend, I don't think 50K is worth your, uh, 1,100 blitz bolts. I think you're way better off with the Legend Fantasy Pack. Your best part of a fan, your worst part of Legend Fantasy Pack is gonna be like a well, whole pack and all, probably like 25k. And then if you if you get lucky, maybe you get an LTD pull, maybe you get the new Dante Jackson, you get a blitz player. I don't really know, but it's definitely a lot better than what that pack guarantees. I don't think that's a great offer. I do like the Murray. I do like the John Abram. Now, last minute things, guys. NFL 100 does drop pretty soon. You'll probably end up seeing this right after this video. So. Run this video up as quickly as possible so we can get right into the NFL 100 players. It should be linebackers or defensive linemen. I forget which one it was. But I think we are expecting Lawrence Taylor. I think that's the, the community consensus here. So hopefully we see that. I can make a video for you guys. I did not make it last week because I was not home. I was not expecting it to come out. Now, there's there's two things that could happen here. It could either come out at that time or or it drops Saturday and replaces Saturday Legends. I don't really know. I'm going to be home at 9, ready to go if it does. But if it does not drop at 9, it will probably drop in tomorrow for Legend Saturday. So stay tuned for that. We'll probably know more around the time being. So that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go below. Hit that subscribe button for all your daily Madden content needs. Turn on your noti bell. Be you notified every time I post a brand new video. Comment down below, like I said, rating the Bliss promo. 1 to 10. 
Give me a review. Let me know why you, you think so. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 150 likes on this quick content video, boys? I'd greatly appreciate that. You guys have been killing it. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.